So in this video, I just kind of wanted to give a quick rundown on what I have planned for future Marvel slash kind of like Spider-Man stop motion ideas. And the main thing is I want to be recreating some major comic book plot points. Can you hear that? Some dude be screaming outside. The fuck? I don't know if you can hear that, but like there's this dude toe weakin' out there. Ah. Lovely. I really hope you got that on camera. Homie was hollering, bro. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Um, what I'd like to do on this uh, channel is recreate some of the more major Marvel comic book plot points. Uh, like Civil War, for example. I'd like to do videos leading up to Civil War and the events that take place and the events that take place after Civil War. Uh, like Planet Hulk stuff I think would be really cool to do. And just recreate specific comic book issues even. Uh, like one that I've just reread was The Ultimate Spider-Man Annual 2. And that's a really good issue. It has a bunch of the different uh, characters in that one that are street level. It has Spider-Man, Punisher, Daredevil, and Moon Knight. And I think that issue itself would be really cool to make its own self-contained video and just kind of recreate the comic book and the plot. And then as future videos come out, I'll add on to the plot or do stuff beforehand. So it'd be kind of like the same deal of like you're going to be picking up a random issue. Um, you're going to get the self-contained story in the issue, but obviously there's going to be stuff before and after that issue. That's kind of what I'd like to do with my stop motion videos as well. I'm not going to have them in any particular order, but eventually I'm going to have them uh, play out to do like the overall plot and in the Marvel comics obviously all the different characters interact with one another like this group here I don't know if you'd really see this in the MCU but in the comic books they interact all the time and you can see here this is a bit more their more first appearance kind of look to the characters and that's also something I would like to be doing is when you see them in their more traditional kind of first appearance look it's going to take place obviously a bit earlier in whoever's career it may be like that's the first appearance spider-man i'd probably do a handful of videos where he is in the first appearance costume and eventually i'll have him transition to the more brighter blue and red costume as his career kind of continues and that's the same with all the other characters here like Luke Cage, that, that's the more Power Man look to him, and it's kind of a bit more goofy look to him. And later on, he's going to look like the more modern Luke Cage kind of vibe. And I'll, uh, switch him out here. And then, yeah, you can see here, this is their bit more modern look to the characters. Uh, I think most people kind of associate with this look of the characters now. And when they'll be looking like this in whatever video you'll be watching... You'll kind of kind of piece together the timeline of what moment in time it's taking place. And even with Spider-Man particularly, um, that's a more adult version of Spider-Man there. I would like to do a bunch of stuff with the ultimate Spider-Man look when he's a teenager. And then kind of build up him turning into a more of adult Spider-Man kind of deal. And obviously Marvel has a bunch of media that they have video games and the cartoons and the comics and movies and really good animations. And I'll be taking inspiration from probably a handful of all of that and taking certain voice clips because I can't voice every character and I just try my best to like fill in the gaps with I'm not like a voice actor by any means, but I do my best to at least carry the story along with certain stuff I can't get the audio for. I'm trying to use more like free AI stuff like voice generators to at least try and get different voices in. I've done that with Gene for a couple of the uh, voice clips where I've transferred the uh, speech to text kind of stuff. I think for the most part that's all I kind of really wanted to bring up. Uh, so if there's any specific Marvel comic book runs that you really enjoy and would like to see recreated, just leave a comment and I'll try my best to get to it. 
Maybe it's one I already have in mind that I'm doing, or maybe it's totally out of the blue, but it's an issue you really like. Uh, just send, uh, leave a comment of like the specific issue, and I'll either try and pick it up and read it, or try and find it online, or take elements from it kind of deal. Man, where's my coffee at? Your boy needs his coffee. And eventually, as more of like the Marvel videos are coming out, I'll get them all on a playlist and slowly start putting them in order of like the timeline, I guess, of when the characters are interacting with one another. And the reason I'm doing them all out of order is because um, it would kind of limit creativity if I just wanted to like, make a video and have it be... Um, uh, let's just say Planet Hulk, where he's fighting Silver Surfer, but there's not like 30 years plus of lore. You know, and I just kind of want to make the video. Eventually, I'll get it all lined up. Like Swag Waves channel, his is all in order. Mine will, I'm going to attempt to do that, but the episodes will be out of order. And eventually, you can like start piecing together what goes where. Like with the newest Luke Cage and Iron Fist um, video that I'm working on, I'm still need to do the audio for that, but the stop motion stuff is done. Uh, it will kind of start slowly branching out into like Marvel lore, where certain characters are interacting with other people, and the episode kind of starts out with Spider-Man chasing Kingpin. Uh, because he doesn't want him to get to a meeting and then that meeting will kind of turn into his own plot at some point in different videos just kind of stuff along that line and I'm not sure if every Marvel video coming out will be part of like the a certain timeline maybe I'll just make the specific playlist for like the Marvel Universe one I guess and I might just make random skits obviously as well I think that'll be all for this video I have a lot of ideas I want to get the stop motion but it takes a lot of time and I try my best with the stop motion stuff I'm very thankful a lot of people enjoy watching my videos and they leave comments and they like and I don't know it inspires me a bit more to continue making more videos which I like make them better than the last one at least trying to improve on my own work and like I'm almost at 20,000 subs which like that's awesome <laughs> thank you very much I didn't think my channel would even get to that point for just kind of like kid in my room vibing with his action figures enough people enjoyed it and where it's like you know what I'm gonna keep doing this so yeah with that being said I do have a lot of ideas I love to get to my ADHD D brain is jumping all over the place and it's like I want to do this video and then this one and like connect it with that and it's just putting that idea into effect it's like oh yeah it's gonna take like a couple weeks to like make a stop motion video but I do have like a weird kind of plan I guess for the Marvel stuff um yeah I think that'll be all for this video. I hope that, I don't know, got you at least hyped for specific Marvel videos. And again, like I was saying, if there's any comic uh, plots, storylines that you really enjoy and would like to see recreated in some of my videos, just leave a comment and I might get to it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you would like, comment, subscribe on maybe this video or other videos, that would be very helpful for the channel. And if not, you do you, bruh. You got free will. You do what you please, man. So I'm going to continue grinding on my comic and stop motion stuff. I'm trying to pump out as much videos as I can. And yeah, thank you very much for watching.